Hey guys, David and David here with payitforward.com, bringing you an unboxing of the brand new iPhone 7. This one is 128 gigabytes. I'm going to hand it over to David to do the unboxing as it is his phone. He's been waiting very patiently to actually open it and use it because it, you know, he needs a new phone. So here you go. Thank you. You go ahead and uh, break that open. While awesome. <laughs> While he's doing that, I want to tell you guys, if you are interested in getting an iPhone 7, we have developed a great cell phone savings calculator that will help you and your family find the best plan, the most affordable plan. Um, you can find that in the description of this video. Uh, we'll link it there for you. Oh boy. Oh boy. Here we go. Here we go. We got the side cam going here as well. We sure do. Wow. If we look at the... Yeah, this is much... That's a lot different than I was expecting. Yeah, let's check it out. So oh, this is they're good. Oh, man. So this is not the actual box. There's actually a box inside of this box. Oh yeah, this is the nice box. That's the nice. This is what I thought it would look like when we got it. Yeah. So <laughs> that's good. We don't need that. This is so great. here yeah. it is. Nice. Uh, can we can we show it to the side cam as I well? I think we can. Yeah. There it is. iPhone seven. IPhone the black one. It's black. Not now, the jet black. It's not jet black. Yep. Jet black only comes with seven plus, correct? No. No. They have nope. seven. Jet black. You can get it in seven. Really? You can get it with the seven plus. Interesting. Yep. But. It was sold out. It was sold out. I was going to get it. It was sold out. I cannot believe that it sold out. I didn't think it was that big of a pulling feature, but I guess yes. it is. It's uh, completely uh, sold out. Oh, you, can, so. you can definitely tell that's not jet black. That looks like regular black. It's matte. And I think when we open the box, we'll definitely... Why don't we, let's open it. Well, this isn't a you know box. What's, you know what's interesting is they, they have this little tab here, this little green tab thing. They didn't used to have that. Let's see what happens when I pull it. It used to be that, like, I used to work at the Apple store, and what I would do is I would open it for customers, people would be at the personal setup table and we'd, we'd like slice open just the side of it and say, here you go, you could open your new iPhone. And so um, I think this is the second iPhone that I've ever opened in my life that is wow. actually mine. Wow. So you know, I watched a lot of people do it, so let's do it. And I've never pulled this tab before, so that's I'll kind pull of it. It's, it's a really satisfying feeling. Wow, All right. That came right off. Look at that. <laughs> You know, I mean, really though, the engineering that goes into something like this is right. pretty amazing. Right. Like I to make the cell phone, I mean, it's just... I mean, it's got good. Wow, nice. All right, well, you set that aside. There it is. Put that okay, right. Cool. Yeah. Right. So on the box it says 128 gigabytes. It says what it's included, included, and we'll, I guess we'll read, find read, out when read, we open read, it. Read right. it off. So, Let's go. I mean, yeah, it Let's includes go. the the iPhone 7, the earbuds, earpods. Excuse Air, me. Airpods, earpods. 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 Earpods or AirPods are not out yet. Uh, those are coming soon. Earpods with lightning connector, lightning to headphone jack adapter. Uh, lightning to USB cable and USB power adapter. So, uh, and you mentioned the cell phone savings calculator. Yes. Um, this is, I'm a Verizon customer, a happy one. And uh, this is a Verizon phone. Right. But yeah. Lots of different carriers on the calculator though. Designed by Apple in California, made by Apple in China. But it doesn't say that. Okay. Very nice. Wow, look at that. Now, are we going to oh. read the instructions? Let's not break it, David. Jeez. Patience is a virtue. Yeah. All right. It's like it's like getting a Christmas card. It's like getting a Christmas card. And a, you know, re, or in a present. And read. And you know, you have to open the card. You have to open the, you have to open read the, the card. card. Read open the card. Read the card first. Read the card. Mom. <sighs> Flashbacks to bad Christmases. Okay. <laughs> what we got here? Welcome to iPhone. Turn on iPhone. I like it. How now they make are a we? Name. Now are we? We're going to do the setup in a different video. I think we are. Okay. Right. But I mean, right now we're just reading what it says. In the I know. Box. I'm just. Yeah. I'm just saying. Yeah. Turn on iPhone with the sleep wake button. Uh, preview content and perform quick actions by pressing the display with 3D touch. Use Touch ID to unlock iPhone with the home button. It's nice how they make it like a proper name. Right. Like it's, it's iPhone. Nice. IPhone. Choose ring mode or silent mode with the ring silent switch. Interesting. It used to be called the silent ring switch. Well, there you they go. They switched it around. There's the first big upgrade from <laughs> 6 to 7. Oh, man. Oh, back when I was at Apple, it was called the silent ring switch. I guess that makes more sense, though, huh? Adjust audio, ringer, and alert levels with the volume buttons. Okay. Yep. Check out the Tips app or visit apple.com slash iPhone or payitforward.com. Pay it Lots of great tips It's interesting on there. that they included payitforward.com on yeah. the card. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, it was nice. Uh, to get the most from iPhone, uh, charge iPhone and connect accessories with the lightning connector. Right. I think and, uh, I think that's it. Yeah, that's you it. You might that's, want to save that if, in yeah. case you forget. All now the... we're going to read the terms and conditions. Yeah. <laughs> I agree. No, we're not. I agree. It's interesting, though. I mean, I wonder what they say about 
Uh, I guess we'll don't attempt to replace the iPhone battery yourself. You well, there actually the is um, as tar- as far as the water resistant goes. There's actually is that part of the conditions? I'm not sure if it's on here, but we should definitely talk about. We're going to talk about that at some point. In this yeah, video. definitely. That, that's uh, actually an important thing to <laughs> absolutely. And then you get, of course, the sticker that the Apple stickers. I never use one of those. I've never actually used one either. But why don't you people... uh, put it right in the center of your phone? I mean, it, <laughs> it comes with one built in. All right. I don't know. I guess I'll... we take apart the box. Okay. We read the card. We read the card. We read the card, mom. Okay. Here we Parents go. everywhere are happy. So just like it used to be. Oh, neat. Wow. It's neat. Okay. So it feels different. Definitely. Right different? I'm going to take it off. It looks the, a little bit different. The cellophane here. It actually feels heavier. That's, maybe it's just more solid? I don't know. Well, what, maybe what, all what, of the scratching I've done to my old iPhone. What, what version do you have right now? You have right the, now I have a 6. The 6. Yep. Wow, look at that. I just got on the... Um, can we can we give that to the side view as well? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, look at that. Look at that. Got a nice, nice black iPhone. Not jet black. Not jet black. Unfortunately. Okay, so at first glance, the camera is a lot bigger than yep. the old one. Well, there's two apertures there's the now. Aperture. Um, there's one aperture, one aperture. on the... Uh, the, the 7, and there are two on the 7 Plus. Correct. Uh, but this is just the the regular 7. Uh, clearly they, uh, wow, designed by Apple in California, assembled in China. Awesome. Yeah. Very cool. That's a very nice looking phone. Now, I think it's heavier than my iPhone Let 6. me, let me, can I, I may I? Uh, yeah, go ahead. Now, I might be crazy, but if it does, I, it does feel a little bit heavier. Now, if it is heavier than the iPhone 6, and I could just feel it. We, we can even look that up. Can we? Really, I think we should totally do I'm that. I'm going to look that up right now. Why don't you do that, and I'll you, start, you I'll start, going you start pulling box. that apart. So before I power this thing on, switches are all the same. How about that? Let me plug in my headphones. Oh, wait. I can't. Oh. There's a little difference, huh? Well, I mean, you can plug it in through the lightning cable. The I lightning. guess so. I guess that's yeah, how it works. Port. Well, we got, we got some more goodies in there. We, can, we, we sure can. do. How about that? The bottom of the phone is markedly different, and also the bands are gone on the back, which kind of looks looks bad. I mean, it, it looks better. It looks better. Wow, bad. you you will be amazed here. Hold on, I'm gonna pull up the exact weight. Okay, please do. If I can find it, I just all right. It. So we're also gonna take a look inside the box right now, and we're gonna see that there is a nice little USB plug. I have about four thousand of these, and this is exactly the same as the rest of them. It's probably subtly different. Uh, and then here we are with some ear pods. Not just any ear pods, mind you. Ear pods with a lightning adapter. I've never even seen So are you ready before. for the exact weight? Please. The iPhone 7 is slightly heavier than the 6. Boom. Get this. The 7 is 138 grams. The 6 is 129. So we're able to tell the 9 the difference, grams difference. Yeah, 9 grams, man. I wonder how many grams it would take for me not to be able right. to tell the difference. I mean... Interesting. No, less than nine. Less than sure. nine. Less than nine for sure. I think I could have. I think I could have told it apart with five grams. Mm-hmm. I think I could have told the difference. So, oh, here I go. I'm trying to take these things out. Of, this oh. is very securely wrapped inside this. this That's thing. good. Yes, it That's is. good. It's good. It's not coming out. They used to. Okay, interesting. These used to come in a nice little. Oh, look it, and they. Okay, so the earpods used to come in a nice little plastic uh, container yep. that everyone promptly threw away. So that's probably why they did away with that. They were like, "What are we doing here, people?" So this, um, the earpods come wrapped on one side, come wrapped around. Let me just take this out, and then on the other side of the same uh, little thing is the uh, lightning, to lightning headphone adapter. Yep. So let's lose this right away. Yeah, <laughs> that's a very small. I already I lost feel, it. Where'd I it feel go? like. There's going to be a yeah. lot of people looking to replace these very quickly. Yeah. Um, Amazon. 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 Yep. Amazon's going to have them. Apple.com's going to have them, but Amazon usually is, you know, a good place to get them. Uh, it actually says designed by Apple in California. Really, really small and assembled. That's design. people are going to lose. It looks like a Lego piece. <laughs> really, what Lego pieces? It's There's, all bendy. I mean, it's like one of the special, the special ones. Oh, one of the advanced yeah, Lego pieces, the advanced, like Technic. Yeah. Is that what it's called? Yeah. Sure. So, yeah. Oh man! I mean, it's Legos, like Legos have changed so much. Right. I was in uh, Mall of America a few months ago. Actually, I bought a, an Apple Watch there. It was interesting because there is an Apple store and a Microsoft store right across the back <laughs> from each other, and uh, everybody's in the Apple store I clearly. But I went into the Microsoft store. I talked to the people, and uh, there were actually a lot of people in there too. There was a whole contingent of people playing Xbox in yeah. the Microsoft store, and it was like a party. In there. So, so this is this is for the old headphones, and then this one connects. <laughs> these are from these. Old, yeah, tired old di- the dinosaur headphones, which are going out of style. Yep. <laughs> so this this plugs right in. 
So now one problem I'm seeing right away is that you will not be able to charge your phone and listen to the headphones at the same time. Now, do you think that's a problem, David? I mean, I don't think it's as big of a deal as some people make it out to be. As, but... as big as I think it's a big deal. See, I think it's a big deal that there's no um, that you can't charge your iPhone and listen to music or, or at the same time because a lot of people fall asleep listening to music or, or to, to white noise. There's actually some great apps. Uh, there's one um, called Relax Melodies that I use. We can probably link to that in the description. We can too. if you want. Yeah, it's a good app. And Relax I mean, Melodies. Yep. Yeah, it's called... Man, I'm just getting tired. I'm like holding yeah, phone it's so, it's heavy, so heavy. It's like a workout. Jeez. Start curling that puppy. Like, yeah, work some wrist motion here. There you go. Yeah, so there's this Relax uh, Melodies a a app that's excellent. And uh, I don't... Uh, I, you know, actually... I mean, I just play it through the speakers of the iPhone, but I know people that really want to fall asleep. And so mm -hmm. it's kind of like, and then I was thinking, all right, so like, it's not that big of a deal, but it kind of is because if you have to use Bluetooth headphones, mm -hmm. those need to be charged. Too. Right. Yeah. So you've, I mean, it's like, all right, I can either charge my phone or my headphones. Take your pick. You got to really, like, you got to really think ahead with your charging. Now, you're like, charging if, sleep yeah. habits. I'm surprised that people haven't really, I mean, I guess what we're going to look for in the future is some sort of a, um, some sort of a. A uh, like an adapter, a splitter, some sort of a splitter where we can a splitter, yeah, yeah, where we can charge it right. and and uh, listen to music at the same time. So That'd be very functional. I think I think they'll come out with it eventually. Yeah, this is interesting. All right, so what else we got in the box? So we got the another lightning another lightning cable for someone to steal. These things disappear like crazy. Really? I know that people well, people that have kids, oh. uh, friends of mine with kids, they find that these go missing very quickly. <laughs> yeah. It's like, that's a nice, that's a nice part. sturdy box. Listen to that. Yeah. Are we showing these uh, to the side cam here? Look at that. Look how small that is. That is a tiny Man, little that thing. Is a thing. They really are wrapping these things up like crazy now. Like they've got little pieces of plastic. You think it's more, you think them. they're saving money by doing that too? Well, yeah. I mean, they're probably It probably doesn't money. cost that much to make anyway, but yeah. I mean, it, you know, actually the texture has changed on this cable. Definitely. Really? Yeah. I don't think so. Yeah, it has. I mean, you were able to tell the nine grams, though. So yeah. I mean, I've only felt I'm gonna, I'm gonna I've only felt about a million of these, David. Yeah, it's slightly changed. But um, interesting. I wonder why. So we've talked about the headphone jack. We've talked about the camera. What about the water resistant? Yeah, I mean, the water resistant feature is interesting. Um, definitely one of the most common problems that we used to see at the Apple Store. I mean, you know, all the time people would come in with their phones that were not working for one uh, reason or another. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, I think that they should have called it toilet resistant. Toilet resistant. <laughs> but um, that's not necessarily uh, something they might want to lead with. But really, let's be realistic here. Mm -hmm. It's a toilet resistant iPhone. Well, don't drop it in your toilet. Don't test that. Yeah, well, I mean, if you're going to test it, test it in something sanitary. Right. But there was something interesting that we did find on the Apple website um, when we were looking through the tech specs. And I'm going to read that little section. All right, right go now. ahead. And it has to do with... Um, with the water, the water damage. It says, um, the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus are splash, water, and dust resistant and were tested under controlled laboratory conditions under blah blah blah. Splash, water, and dust resistance are not permanent conditions and resistance may decrease as a result of normal wear. Do not attempt to charge a wet iPhone. Refer to the user guide for cleaning and dry instructions. Liquid damage not covered under warranty. So they've created an interesting situation here where... <laughs> they say they say it's water resistant. I, I mean... I mean, it is. I can, I just imagine in, in a year. So anytime anybody's phone gets water damage from now on. Yep. I mean, the people at the Genius Bar have a tough enough time as it is. <laughs> But now Apple has set the, the expectation with yeah, customers that right. you can't water damage your iPhone, even though here in Most the people are not going to read that. It though. says that, I mean, it's like, well, sir, um, I know that uh, you were told that it was waterproof and water resistant, but if you had read the terms <laughs> and conditions, you would have known yeah. that it's not forever under normal wear, uh, maybe. So, and it says liquid damage. Liquid damage is still not covered under warranty, so... It may be water resistant, but if I mean, liquid gets inside of this yeah. thing, man... I wouldn't even want to test that. I mean, it's the same... Yeah. It's the same deal. And I mean... It's... it's. I mean, the poor people at the Genius Bar. Oh, man. Well, they're they're gonna, I mean, they're good. They're professionals. I mean, you, you worked there. You had some interesting encounters with people. I did. Well, what happened all the time when people come in... I got stories galore, and so does everybody that's ever worked in an Apple store. But, um, you know, a lot of times people come in with a water-damaged iPhone and would say, you know, like... Um, but they'd be like, I, I don't, I don't know what happened to it. it just stopped working, and I'd be like, oh, so, so what, you know? And uh, 
I don't know. It just it was there, and like all of a sudden it stopped working, and I don't know why. And uh, I'd look at their phone, and we'd have a little flashlight, and I'd look in the the headphone jack, which used to be there, and there'd be like a little piece of rice inside of the headphone jack. <laughs> Like, well, sir, you know, there's, there's uh, rice inside of your headphone jack, and maybe, oh. Maybe he's a sushi chef. Maybe he's a, a sushi, that's Su hard to say. Sushi chef. Sushi chef. Uh, maybe he was at a wedding. Wedding? You never know. You never know. Rice can get an iPhone for all sorts of reasons, however. Yeah, I think the main one uh, is probably people yeah. trying to, to dry, dry out. And by the way, don't ever, ever, ever try to use rice to dry out an iPhone. It does not work. We'll link to the article. Right now, pay for it? yeah, absolutely. Okay, yeah. I went on a little bit of a tirade yeah. about it. I think it's actually. I mean, it's just it's crazy. We're gonna have sorry desiccants. Links. Yeah. yeah, desiccants are these things that do absorb water. Man, this is that's a nice looking phone. It's a nice looking phone. It's also like you know, it's, it's significantly heavier, and it's funny because it's nine grams. Well, because we're so used to <laughs> we're so used to. I mean, it sound might sound crazy, but like I'm so used to being able to balance it in my hand, like when we're typing and stuff, it feels different. Like the weight is different. My whole balance. It's like we're we're amazing at you know at um you know how how great we are with our phones. Let's uh. So we have to yeah. set it up now. I think we do. I mean, should we turn it on in this video? Sure. Let's turn it on let's and show them what, let's, let's yeah. what it looks like. All right. So and then we're we're gonna do a setup video, and we're gonna be doing some screen tutorials. We got that right in the side cam here. Absolutely. Absolutely. So like, uh, they took away the headphone jack. Yep. And uh, David had a couple of jokes that he yeah. to tell. I mean, um, what, I, what is it like? Like, really I, I feel like the... taking the headphone jack off of what is, you know, partially an MP3 player, it's kind of like those watches. Like the fancy watches where they take the numbers off and they just leave like, the lines. I mean, the watch still works. Uh, it still looks nice. It's still a nice watch. It's still functional. It's just. Yeah, it's something, just a something, something's missing and it's a little right. bit different. It's a little it, different. It's it, kind of like taking. The shamrocks out of uh, Lucky Charms. It's still cereal. It's still cereal, it's just not as good. Yeah. I mean, it's going to take some getting used to, but I think this is... It's kind of like taking Thriller out of the Michael Jackson catalog. <laughs> the dis dis it's kind of like taking the marshmallows out of s'mores. It's not like that, because if you take the marshmallows out of s'mores, it's They're just chocolate and, and graham crackers. I know, it's not as good. I mean, you say that it wouldn't be s'mores at all. It wouldn't That's be s'mores at all, yeah. Point. Yeah. I mean, it's going to take some getting used to. Um, Bluetooth headphones are yep. really going to be the uh, yeah, thing, I mean, and we're gonna, we're doing a whole series on Bluetooth headphone reviews. That's going to be coming up soon. And yeah, we linked to Amazon yeah, too. We, to the Bluetooth. We've got we've got Amazon links. Amazon, I mean, Amazon is really the best. Place Amazon, to go yeah. To look because you've got everything from like the cheap ones to the really expensive ones. If you go to Apple, you're only going to find really expensive ones. Well, well Apple, um, they'll probably give you options what the AirPods and yeah, Beats. AirPods. Well, and Beats, which and Beats. they which they bought. Yep. And. Uh, and, but no, Apple has a slew of headphones okay. that they can that people can buy. It's just that the Apple has like the premium, right. uh, expensive stuff. And uh, but yeah, Bluetooth headphones are going to be the thing. Yeah. Um, and yeah, so I mean, other differences between the phone. I guess we'll dive into it later. Um, but hello, it says hello, hello, hello. Press home to open. Other differences. I mean, the screen is supposed to be brighter. Right now, the brightness is not all the way up. Okay. Um, but the home button is completely different. Wow, that feels completely Voice different. Set up. English. I have triple clicked the home button, <laughs> so voiceover is talking to me. Um, but I'll tell you what, let's go through this video in a little bit. So yeah, what we'll do we'll stop, is we'll stop here. We'll stop here. Yep, because we have unboxed. We have we have the unboxing. So point, to yep. summarize, we've got the phone. Yep. You've got this thing, which you're gonna lose in about five seconds. Um, the charger. Yep. And the headphones, which you can now connect via the lightning port. Lightning port. And if, right. you, if you want to stick with the classic. You got you got this guy, which you're gonna lose immediately. And, right, it's gone. And yep. your the, the, your USB USB power adapter. power. Adapter. Yep, this is a one amp, a five volt power adapter, That's not to be confused with the six point one amp. These are really useful, especially even if you're not charging, you know, an iPhone per se. You can be right. charging something else. The USB those are really those are really helpful. Absolutely. So that's it for this unboxing. Really, we're we're about to set it up. That's gonna be the next video. Uh, stay tuned for that. Yep. So thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this unboxing, give us a thumbs up. Let us know what you think about the iPhone 7 by leaving us a comment down below. Subscribe to this channel for more Apple stuff, Apple tips, yep. product reviews, yep. screen tutorials. Yep. Uh, that's pretty much it. So David and David yeah. here. Yeah, thanks so much. Subscribe and uh, give us a thumbs up. And yeah. Reminding you to always it. pay it forward. Pay it forward. Absolutely. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And when you have a problem with your iPhone, Pay It Forward is the best place to get help.